What's going on everyone? Welcome back to KDJTV for another instructional video about MLB The Show 23, which is finally here. I know we're all so excited. Today, I am here to help you progress through the early stages of Grind 99 as quickly as possible. One of the beauties of a new MLB The Show every year, of course, is the grind. You kind of eventually lose the love of grinding as the year goes on, but it's the second that new game drops, you're in. You're ready to grind. So I'm going to help you do it in the best way possible, maximize your time, be efficient. This video is going to cover what you should do in the first 24 hours of you picking up this game. Follow these instructions. You don't have to be a wizard on the sticks. You just have to be a competent, living, breathing human being. And you can achieve so much within 24 hours. I promise you, it truly would be remarkable how much progress you make. So if you like this video and it helps you out, make sure you like it and subscribe down below. We are on the on the path to YouTube partnership. Your subscriptions can help me get there. Make sure you comment down below what you did in your first 24 hours of Diamond Dynasty or what you plan to do in your first 24 hours. And let me know what you think. And will be the show 23, obviously a new game. I want to hear your thoughts. All right, everybody. So we know the the allure of Diamond Dynasty this year. There are a couple layers to it, but number one, Team Affinity's back. That requires a lot of grinding. And number two, with the way collections are being done this year, collect 260, 200, 110 gets you this spicy Trey Turner. <clears throat> the goal is to collect cards. It's always to collect cards. That's never changed. But the way they're doing it, excuse me, I just burped while recording. We're going to leave it in. It's different. Collecting's different. So what you want to do is maximize your time. You can see above my head right there, I have 32, but I really, if you went into auto select, I have 71. So I have a lot of cards. I'm four away from this jazz. That is a very underwhelming 99, but that's beside the point. I'm going to let you guys know how I got here quickly. The very first thing you do, number one, when you load Diamond Dynasty for the first time, this is it. The first thing. It's going to be boring. You're going to want to do every single moment that is available to do in this game. That includes moments from every single team affinity. That includes moments from the World Baseball Classic. All of them. There are many of them. That also includes any starter moments that exist. Sorry, that was missions, moments, which there aren't a ton. Do them all. Every single one. There are a lot. This will take you several hours. A couple of them are a little frustrating. They're really not all that bad, but a couple of them are a little frustrating. First thing, every moment. Knock them out. Done. Do every single one. Next thing. Do every single showdown. These should not occupy too much of your time. I would say two hours, you would do every single one. Combined, not individually, combined. Do every single showdown. The goal here is to get as much XP as fast as humanly possible. Because the more you progress, let's go back to these programs. Specifically, we'll start with this one. I hate that noise that you hear on the program screen, so we won't spend long on it. The more you progress through this, and the faster you progress through this, the more unlockable cards you get. Not those. We want cards. We want cards. With Team Affinity. The more you progress, we'll go to the beginning. The more you progress through this pack, you get more of these cards. More of these cards. These cards are important for the collection, but this is why they're most important. After you do the moments, after you do the showdowns, you're going to want to... I keep going to the wrong effing menu. You're going to want to do every single conquest as I have done. I finished every conquest, including the USA map. It says it's not completed because I can technically redo it again for another 20 bundle. If I was a lunatic. I did every single conquest, moment, and showdown within uh, 24 hours. But you're going to want to do these conquests and you're going to want to load up your lineup with all of those cards that you just unlocked, folks. All of them. Hitters, bench, pitchers. There's only a handful of relievers. But relievers. Because they all have missions assigned to them. 200 PXP for hitters. 
600 PXP for pitchers. That's essentially what it is across the board. PXP, for those who don't know, is player experience. It's the um, counting number that goes into paralleling your players. As soon as you hit the PXP with one guy, swap him out for another guy who's got a program or a mission. Oh, I finished Adam Duvall. I got to do Soriano. Boom. The faster you unlock these cards and the faster you do these missions, you're just compounding progress in your programs, compounding experience gained for the XP reward path. You're compounding all of it. And within 24 hours, you've got a huge binder of cards. Look, I've played now for about 34 hours, mostly playing the event now. I already have a lineup that's a 96 overall, and I'm not boasting. There are people with better lineups right now. I have not completed collections. I haven't even come close. I've purchased Otani and Trout, so I got the Angels done. But there are people with better lineups. All I'm getting at here is almost essentially exclusively through offline grinding in 24 hours, you can put together a team that's like a 94, 95, 96 if you do it the right way. So let me go back to Team Affinity if I could find it. There we go. Again, I've exclusively played to, to advance missions and I played events a little bit. But through 24 hours of grinding, I am at least 49%, let's say at least 50% on every Team Affinity already. The game just came out for pre-order, people. It is now just coming out for, for the public who didn't pre-order. If you are efficient with your time and you have a plan... When you go about doing this, it makes your life a lot simpler. Listen, I know the temptation will be there for you, for all of us. Oh, it's a new game. Can't wait to go play BR. Can't wait to go play an event. Can't wait to go play Ranked. But eventually, you will have to go back and do this stuff that's going to be real boring. The first thing I did was I did Moments. I was excited to play with the show 23, so what did I do? I hopped in Moments. Make use of your time effectively. I also understand that I had to do these types of things and unlock all this stuff for content purposes. Some people clearly don't take it as seriously as I do. So listen, to each your own. I am not here to actually demand or force that you do things a certain way. But in the interest of efficiency, if you are interested in how to progress fastest, that is what you do. And don't forget... There are also mission um, player cards, excuse me, let's go back to my grind lineup, associated with the team captain packs that you get. So team captains also have missions. Ian Happ had to hit five extra base hits. They're not PXP based, so make sure you check what they are. Aaron Judge, he had to hit three homers. And then those give you more team affinity points. So constantly pay attention to your missions. I have not completed every single mission. I've completed about 80% of them because there are hundreds. There are there are lots of missions to do. Maybe not hundreds, but a lot. Um, so just make sure you're paying attention. If you guys are curious, yes, I kept a checklist. This is how many I've completed. There are more. But this is how many I've completed and crossed out. Look at look at all my look at all my my handwriting. It is a grind. Grind 99 is back, but it's worth it. Because you get good cards. So make sure you do moments, then showdown. Make your lineup with mission cards. Go play Conquest. Plus, it gets you invaluable resources in terms of stubs and gameplay XP for the reward path. It's just, it's totally worth your time to do it this way, I promise. YouTube, that's going to do it for this one. Really quick little tutorial. Tutorial might not even be the right word. But I just want to make sure people realize that there is an incredibly efficient way to begin playing Diamond Dynasty. This is not a no money spent video. This is not a no money spent um, uh, series. I am not going to spend money on this game, but like it's because you don't have to. I I'm not going to like, you know, I don't need to, to have a no money spent series. There are plenty of no money spent series on YouTube that are worth your time. I'm just offering you sound advice on how to start playing Diamond Dynasty, especially if you're just picking up the game on drop day. So let me know in the comment section down below if this video helped you. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be putting out content like crazy this, this year. So make sure you like it and subscribe. I love you all. Best of luck in your grinding. See you next time.